Hello YouTube, it's RMLearn950 here, and today I'm going to talk about the Windows 8.1 beta release preview and how it will relate to Windows 7 users that may not want to switch, as well as my final recommendation wh why to sw whether to switch or not. Well, as you can see, this is the typical Windows 8 start screen. Not much has changed except that you can customize your groups here. But the one thing that is substantially different from Windows 8 is you now have this all app screen just by clicking this little arrow here. You have this all app screen and you can see all the applications you have installed on this computer. I installed the old XP games because they can't pass time without them and the new ones just suck. We also have this nice little search feature here. So we'll just open up paint and right there we can open up paint and you know just draw pictures for no reason pastime you know whatever but other than that it's generally the same the one thing I don't like or one of the many things I don't like about the the whole Windows 8 Windows 8.1 in general is that there's two different user experiences you have Metro, and then you have Desktop, and it, they will they will put you they will just plop you out of one, and stick you in the other for no apparent reason, just to do it. I mean, the biggest example is PDF Reader. I'm currently in Desktop, but if I open this PDF file, blank.pdf, it switches me to Metro, and I think. From a user experience standpoint, that is very, very unnerving. Because if you're in the desktop, you generally want to stay on the desktop. And most people who used Windows before and are now using Windows 8 hate Metro with passion. So it's very just unnatural. But now I'm going to show you guys how to make Windows 8 look like Windows 7. The first essential thing you must do is install the start menu. Without the start menu, you don't have any. It's pointless. That's why Windows 8 is pointless. So I'm going to put the start menu back through a program using Classic Shell. A program called Classic Shell. And uh, you know, it looks just like the old Windows 7 start menu. Install I installed some programs that were not came with the computer to show you guys some things in later videos. But as you can see, I can open up Metro apps as well as desktop apps right from this little start menu here. But then it's not Windows 7 unless you have this picture. There you go. Now you have a complete Windows 7 experience. But the one thing that sucks is if you go like that. Oh, no, no, no. If you go. Okay. Yeah, if you could. That's still there. It's. It's still gonna haunt you. Haunt you in your nightmares. And that's the one thing that could, one of the many things, again, that could, it sucks about Windows 8. But, if we go into the start menu and go to the C drive, which is, uh, I also don't like how they renamed computer this PC. I mean, I understand my computer to computer, but this PC is completely different. Now we go into the C drive and then the Windows folder. It's everything is very locked down in Windows 8. It, it's I call it Microsoft's Fort Knox, to be honest with you. It, it's it's prison. For, from the developer standpoint, you can't do anything in this folder. I installed tons of command prompt tricks to get to get where I am to be able to access all the system folders. But a vanilla Windows 8 installation, is it's a nightmare. 
And another thing I really don't like about Windows 8, again, there's many of them, is you can't customize the themes. In Windows XP, Vista 7, 98, 95, Millennium, pretty much everything before here, you're able to change the appearance. Here you have one, two, You have 16 different colors, and it's essentially Windows 1.0. You, you only have X amount of colors, and that's it. And the, the, look, the, even the, they got rid of the classic theme. I mean, that's, that helped my performance ridiculously in the uh, Windows 7. Why'd they get rid of classic? I think that's pointless. And they got rid of the whole arrow thing. Now it's 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 flat. Everything is flat. It's like Microsoft took an iron and iron the entire operating system down. The only texture I have right now in the desktop user interface is the third party start menu. So if I were you and if I were a Windows 7 user, don't upgrade. Don't. The registry, the system, everything's locked down. It, the whole Metro desktop switching, it's, it's crazy. Don't upgrade. Save your money, save your time, don't upgrade. If you have Windows 8, upgrade to 8.1. Trust me, it's better than Windows 8. But other than that, stick with, stick with XP, stick with Vista, stick with 7. Yes, I said it. Stick with Vista. It's better than this. In fact, as long as far as I care, Windows 98, Windows 2000 will do better than this. This is RM10950 signing off.